Cambridge's Central Square has taken more than one shape over the decades, but for the past 45 years, India Pavilion has remained a constant. This concept was so novel here. It was the first Indian restaurant in Cambridge, so um, it attracted a lot of different people, and I think the flavors lend for themselves. The other day, I was um, having one with my friend as a snack, and then she was like, this is like eating heaven. Ten-year-old Arya Singh not only loves eating samosas, she's also learning how to make them, alongside her mom, Jaswinder Kaur, and grandfather, Mohan Singh, who founded the family's restaurant in 1979. He knew he wanted to start something for himself so that he could build a future for his family. Here, we are making fresh every time. Shortly after he immigrated to the U.S. from India, Singh saw that opportunity in an old pizza shop. He and a friend removed the old oven brick by brick and in its place installed a tandoor. He took a risk. It worked. It expanded from there. There are a lot of family members that, as they immigrated to the States, they learned from his kitchen, they moved on, and then they also opened different restaurants in different cities. It was, I think, a community building space as well. The restaurant grew too, taking over the space next door twice. We went from 10 seats to 99 now with a full bar. We are doing a little bit water on this corner, making a cone. We take some dough filling, we lick again and fold it like this and bring it to the shape. We slap from the back. The holy trinity in Punjabi cooking are ginger, garlic and onions and they kind of go in every sauce base. Punjab is a state in northern India known for alagobi, tandoori chicken, and sag paneer. There is a lot of pride. I was born shortly after this place was open, so I've seen the changes as I've grown, and now my daughter sees the changes as she comes, and she loves to set tables and help out. Arya's help includes enjoying the fruits of her labor. Samosas are filled with potatoes, peas, and spices, lightly fried, then topped with a chutney or chutneys of choice. The tamarind's my favorite. Sweet. Mmm. Arya, you did a wonderful job. I'm proud at least my one generation's carrying over the culture. So having my dad, not only as our boss, but as our dad, it's, it's been a great privilege for all of us. He has been a great mentor in terms of showing us that nothing's impossible to accomplish. If you put your effort into it, you will be fruitful. It's good. Good. In Boston's busy and ever-changing Back Bay neighborhood, 30 years is a long time for a restaurant to call Newbury Street home. In the beginning, it was just the buzz of the restaurant. But I think over time, the reason that it's endured is the staff and chefs and servers, they're a cut above and they do a great job. You can't just mail it in for 30 years. You're only really as good as someone's experience last night. Industry veteran Patrick Lyons first made his mark in Boston's nightclub scene, transforming Lansdowne Street from a side street to a live music magnet. But eventually, Lyons decided it was time for a change. I was thinking about getting married, and I thought, what better way to go legit is to morph from nightclub to restaurant. In 1993, he opened Sansi. We made up the word. Sansi is loosely based on a, a Celtic word that means happy and jovial, but we took some liberties and changed it, and then the word became the place. For three decades now, it's been the place for celebrities to stop by, some basking in the spotlight, with others preferring a private room. We try to be on a trend six months before it happens and off of it six months before it's over, kind of like a Rubik's Cube and you have to keep adjusting it. Those adjustments apply to the menu as well, which features a mix of new dishes alongside tried and true classics. We've become a multi-generational place in that there are people who have met here who have children who now are of the age where the children are coming here. And when you say Sansi, it means something to a great many people. 
And some of the celebrities that have visited Sansi include President Obama, Matt Damon, Ben Affleck, and Tom Brady. And if you were watching closely on Sunday, you may have seen Patrick Lyons with a cameo appearance on HBO's Curb Your Enthusiasm with Larry David. Back to India Pavilion, the Singh family owns a second restaurant, Punjabi Daba, in Inman Square, run by Mohan's son. Coming up, preserving memories, the old-fashioned way.